Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. I've not done a plugin review in quite some time. One of the more popular plugin reviews I've done is Plugin Alliance's Crispy Tuner and how it compares to the built in Reatune. A lot's changed since that plugin review. Crispy Tuner still sounds pretty good, but they still haven't added Aura integration and they've removed rewire support. So using the interface is pretty much a nightmare, and it requires clicking back and forth from the interface to Reaper, and back and forth, and back and forth, and it's just a bit of a hot mess to work with. I recently tried Repitch from SynchroArts, and I really liked the sound of the software, but I quickly discovered some bugs when rendering. I found that in Reaper, if you don't freeze or render the track before rendering the entire mix, the output sounds like the vocalist did butane before the session. And I've tried a trial of Melodyne. Despite it being the industry standard, I simply don't like the way it sounds. To my ear, Melodyne sounds like there's a synthesizer just below the vocalist. It definitely has a signature sound. Some people like it, and there's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't like it. Anyways, fast forward to today, and a new developer has a new plugin called Vovius. Here comes a new challenger! Vovius claims to have a completely different algorithm for vocal processing, and they've created a new technology that separates the overtones of the vocals and does some kind of magic under the hood that I don't understand. But all that matters is, it sounds natural. I mean, really natural. I did a trial on my own vocals earlier, and I was amazed that I felt like I didn't hear the software, but I heard me just a little bit better. Now looking on YouTube, the only videos that I can find so far are videos by the developer, so I figured I'd do a quick plug-in review and show it to you. Let's take a look. You can download the software at vovius.com and they have a generous 30-day trial that's completely uncrippled. If we take a look at DAW integration, I was very pleased to find Reaper sitting right there in the menu, with instructions and screenshots specific for Reaper. There's a pretty active conversation going on between the developers and the community on Gearspace right now, but we know how Gearspace can be, so tread lightly. Currently, most of the feedback is favorable with the exception of the price. If I click on the try or buy option and see if I can find it on the page here, the current price is $229. Now that's much more than some of the offerings that are out there, but it's also much less than the top tier of Melodyne, and in my opinion, sounds much better. You can tune multiple tracks at the same time, use MIDI guide tracks, and there's a whole lot of other features that you may or may not use, but let's hop into Reaper and give it a listen. The project I've got open is an unreleased song by my band Midlife Riot. This one's called Prayers for the North, and it'll probably never see the light of day, but let's take a listen to this verse with my natural vocals, and then let's see what Vovius does with it. And as you can hear and hopefully agree, my vocals are not terrible, but there are definitely some spots in there where it's pitchy. Sometimes I'm sharp, sometimes I'm flat, and it's a good mixture of clean singing and screaming. So I'll go to my primary vocals track, and let's add an instance of Vovius. Now this is an ARA or ERA plugin, so it analyzes the audio and places itself as the first plugin on the track. This of course advises that I'm running in a 30-day trial mode, and that's okay, so I'll click OK, and let's expand this interface. The interface is fairly intuitive, but at the same time, I would recommend you checking out the manual. I'm not going to make this a full tutorial, but I mostly just want to show you how this sounds and how it operates. Now, we can see that it's detected the vocals as being in F major, and that is correct. And in my interface to the right here, I can operate in either the chromatic or the scale mode. And I'd like to operate in scale mode so that the dialogue shows me what notes actually fall into the key that I'm supposed to be working in. One thing that I definitely like about this versus Crispy Tuner is that it gives me a preview of each note as I click and hold. Mousing over any of the notes gives me several different options, and we can see as I start at the top left, there is left slope, fine pitch, right slope, vibrato, amplitude, and holding shift allows you to adjust the sibilance, and formants. Underneath, I have an option for previewing the sound, and also auto cycle, which I don't fully understand what auto cycle is, but having preview sound turned on is what allows you to hear the note. One of the things that you'll instantly notice when you go to move a note is that unlike Melodyne, it sounds like you're just hearing the note and not a synthesizer. Let's check out this phrase. Now that note is a little bit sharp and looks like it should be tuned to a D4. The further away you are from a note that's in the key, the note will turn red. 
I can double click this note to snap it to what it believes to be the correct note. And that's typically based off of whatever note that's within key that's closer to it. Now you can grab an entire section, so let's grab this blob here after previewing it. And the now with all of those notes selected, I can press this button here, which is automatic pitch correction. And that brings up a dialog with 11 selected notes showing. And as I slide this amount slider, you'll see them start to snap into position. One thing that I failed to mark is this snap to scale. So I'll make sure to grab that. And you can see that the notes have snapped to the proper notes based on that scale. Let's take a listen. And the now this top one, I feel like this was a little bit off. So let's zoom in a bit. I believe what it did was it glued a couple of notes together that should have been split. I'll press OK to confirm my automatic pitch correction. And now I'll click away to deselect the notes and grab this one that's a bit off. And now that phrase sounds like this. And the Let's go back to the beginning of that verse and tune this whole section. We'll go ahead and put our vocals into solo so we can really hear what this software is doing. I definitely like the fact that the interface is in sync with Reaper, so my transport sync works just fine. Sometimes I do find that I have to move the selector back to get it started, but it keeps up after the fact. We reach the shores of distant lands. And that doesn't sound bad, but you can see that we are off pitch a bit. So let's try that automatic pitch correction again by grabbing all of these notes, pressing the auto pitch correction option, snap to scale is selected because I previously selected it, and let's just slide the amount slider. We'll click OK and see how that sounds. We reach the shores of distant lands. That did put everything within pitch, but there are some things in here that really should have been lower that got grouped in with a different note. So let's correct those. We reach the shores of. We reach the shores. The shores. The shores. The shores. The shores. The shores. The we reach the shores of distant land. Sometimes it's a little hard for me to see this, so I have to use these sliders to navigate just a bit. Distant, 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 distant. So just that little bit of manual correction makes this sound pretty good, and to my ear, it sounds very natural. We reach the shores of distant lands. Let's move on to the next phrase. With conquest in our veins. We'll try the same process again by grabbing a selection of notes and running the automatic pitch correction. I can tell that I'm going to have to correct some of those manually just as we did before, but that's done a good 90% of the work for With us. With conquest in our veins. With conquest in our veins. Or I could be wrong. That sounds just fine. Let's try from the beginning. We reach the shores of distant lands. With conquest in our veins. Moving on to the next phrase. The raven's eyes on overwatch. We'll move that back just a little bit. And let's continue trying the automatic pitch selection, or correction rather, excuse me. The raven's eyes. Now that sounded a bit robotic because I believe this is supposed the to be. Raven's oops. Eyes. Let me undo that. <laughs> I have to remember to deselect the group, so the let me grab that one the note. Raven, the raven. And try now. The raven's eyes on overwatch. Let free a light our path. We'll grab the next section and try the same operation again. Let free a light our path. Let free at free at free at free at free. Let free a light up. Free. Let free a light our path. The elder gods of the nine worlds. This will be a little bit quieter than my normal video, but I'd like to work through this and just see how it sounds. So bear with me and let's keep working. The elder gods of the nine worlds. World, world, world. The elder gods of the nine worlds. World, world, world. The elder gods of the nine worlds. The elder gods of the nine worlds. This one's being a little bit problematic. I want to try to take a little bit of that vibrato out of it. The elder gods of the nine worlds. The elder gods of the nine worlds. 
Yeah, this one is definitely giving me a little bit more trouble. Let's just allow it to snap. And for some reason, for some reason, this note is red and will not allow me to select it. I'm not sure why that's happening. I guess I actually have to read the manual for that. The elder gods of the nine worlds. I suppose I'll come back to that a little bit later. Let's move on to the next section for now. Allow our fates to intersect. And I'll run this one completely manually. So I'll just take each blob and double click to snap it to the note if I know that it's supposed to be there. And then we'll go back and review the ones that are off a little bit. Allow our fates to intersect. Allow that, sounds our that sounds pretty good. We'll move on to the next section. Yeah, and I'll try automatic once again. Who are you to defy us? Now this next section that's coming up is uh, harsh vocals, so it's a bit of screaming. I'd like to leave that alone and see what it does, if anything. My understanding is that if I don't select a group of notes and use the automatic pitch correction or adjust the notes manually, that they remain unchanged. So let's take a listen. Who are you to defy us? May your bloodshed defy us! Go ahead and finish the rest of this. And may Valkyries protect us! Now I had a bit in there that sounded a bit robotic, and I believe it's right here where it's split a note, so we'll bring that down. Valkyries, Valkyries! And may Valkyries protect us! And our... Let's be, let's be, let's be legends! And our exploits be legends! That should be lower, let's, be, let's, let's try that. Be, let's be, let's be, And our exploits be legends! And our exploits be legends! May your weapons be useless. Weapons be. Weapons be. I'd really like to find out about these red notes that I can't select. Those are interesting. Be useless. May your weapons be useless. And your press go on answered. Be almost done. Me I accidentally made a selection. I tend to do that sometimes. Be us fearless, berserk. Be us fearless, be us fearless, be us fearless, be Don't like fe that. Fearless, berserk. Berserk. Berserkers. Be us fearless, berserkers. Get these last few phrases done, and then we'll check it out in context. Wolves, Simba, be us fearless berserkers. The wolf Simba, wolf Simba, wolf. Upon, upon. The wolf Simba upon us as they fall before us. Is they, 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 oh. and these are grayed out again. I wonder if these are different takes. This was from a comp lane, and it looks like I have overlapping clips on this track. So you can see I've got several different things to pull from here. And I think because this was done with fixed lanes and comp lanes, I may have overcomplicated things here. So it may be better to glue a track before starting to work on it if this becomes a problem. For us, as they fall before us. One more line. And the All Father call us. We. And that sounds pretty good there. So let's go ahead and close out of the interface, take it out of solo, and preview it up to that point.
that sounds pretty good to my ear. I definitely prefer the sound of this to Melodyne, Crispy Tuner, Retune, and pretty much any other tuning application that I've tried before. I suppose the million dollar question, or $229 question is, is this the right pitch correction software for you? Given how easy it is to use, despite me having a few problems because I didn't read the manual, this was very intuitive to just dive right in and start working with. Since they've got a 30-day trial, I definitely recommend you checking out the website and learning a bit more about the technology and taking advantage of that 30-day trial. I assume that once this catches on, the prices will probably fluctuate a bit. So if you like it, you may want to jump in early and get it at a lower rate. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the buy me a coffee. It's tea today. Patreon or Super Thanks link below. Visit us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. Do that stuff.